In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a simple pendulum. First, let's be sure we have a clear screen, so I'll select the default. I'm going to start by making the long, thin pendulum rod. I'd like to have it right at three meters, just like that. Now, I'm going to use a magnify tool to magnify up to I want the top end of the rod. I want to put an axle there, and that axle will be the pivot point for the pendulum. I use a move tool, magnify up a little bit more, pan down, get the move tool, position that a little bit more accurately like that. Whoops, I let it slip away from me at the end. Okay. Then I'll demagnify back down, use my pan tool to get the pendulum rod back into view, bring it up just a little bit. Now I'd like to test to be sure that rod is going to oscillate or uh, rotate around that pivot point. So I'll select the simulation start button, get the force tool, Pull on that pendulum rod at the bottom, let it go, and there it does. It does oscillate. What I'd like to do now is put a pendulum bob. You know that little round thing that we see on the end of pendulums and textbooks and that type of thing? So I'll uh, use the circle tool, create that bob. I'm now going to select it, put it over the rod, and then I'm going to do something that's really very important. I want to use the selection menu to move selected objects, that's the pendulum bob, to the back. I'll show you why. I'm going to magnify this up a bit and then I'm going to use a move tool to position that bob a little bit more accurately and I want to fix <coughs> the rod to the bob and not to the background. So I'll select the fixate tool Click there, and hopefully I've got the rod to the uh, pendulum bob and not to the background, because if it's to the background, it's not going to uh, oscillate. Use the magnify, demagnify tool. Select off here, and then let's test and see if our pendulum bob is still swinging. Oh, there it is. Oscillating back and forth. I want to do one more thing, I want to select that rod, go up here into the materials menu. I'd like to make its mass almost nothing. So I'll use the slider and take its mass down to almost nothing. And then I want to take the pendulum bob and I'll set its mass at oh about, let's say about half a kilogram. Because normally in our pendulums, if we make it out of string or a very thin rod, we neglect the weight of the rod itself, and we consider the mass of the pendulum to be in the bob. I'll test and see if it's still swinging, and it is. I'll close that menu, select off. Now, I, we've created here in Algodoo a simulated, a virtual pendulum. I could time 10 swings in back and forth cycles of that pendulum and find out what's called the period of the pendulum. You could also, in fact, I really recommend that you get a piece of string three meters long, a little bit more than that, tie a weight on the end of the string, a rock or something, and then actually test a real pendulum in the real world. I think you'll find it very interesting if you compare the virtual pendulum, uh, pendulum its period, to the period of a real pendulum. Hey, thanks for watching and having fun building things in Algodoo.